Hello and welcome back to our Pokemon Team Rocket Edition playthrough. This is part 9. In this episode we are here with a couple of upgraded members of the team. As in between episodes I've done a little bit of training so our team is just a cypher, you know. Um, so we now have four members of the team. Yes, it's still not six. Button and Flutter are not trained up because at the moment I don't know if I'm going to be using these. And uh, we'll get some more on that in a bit. For now, we're going to start off with probably my favourite upgrade which is Ribcage. Ah, that name, it's its just bad. <laughs> but Nidoking, honestly, I wasn't expecting much when I evolved it, but it did learn a cool move that I wasn't expecting. So at level 22 or 23, I can't remember exactly which, but Nidorino learned Horn Attack. When I went to evolve it at level 23 though, it got Poison Tail. Now, it's not the craziest move of all time. But it is a stab poison type move that's physical, which it wouldn't normally get at all. I don't know what learn set this is from. I genuinely could not find any learn set where it gets poison tail on evolution. It normally gets fresh in like every generation. But I am really happy with this because fresh locks me in and this doesn't, making this a wonderful move for this thing. And I'm actually incredibly happy that we have a Nido King that we can use super early, which is nice. Then we have Ponyta, which overall hasn't really changed too much except for Ember is now Flame Charge. Uh, it's definitely weaker than Flame Wheel by 10, but the speed boost might come in kind of useful, so I thought I'd learn it over Ember. Why not, really? It just seemed better, to be honest. Uh, we have ourselves Fero that is all trained up now and has, I believe, no moveset changes. It's just a higher level. And then we obviously have Cypher, who is Cypher. Do we really need to say any more? So, in between training up, I did go ahead and take a brief look at the Pokemon, which you already know where I'm going with this, but we are banned. We are banned from the Pokemon. We are no longer able to grab any goodies from here. There's no more Pokeballs we can grab. There is no more anything. We cannot use Pokemons. Whether there's like an underground dealer shop that we can go to somewhere, maybe. But for now, we cannot use Pokemons. Um, they, they just say, no sorry, be gone criminal, which Honestly, it's a little bit of a badge of honor on my part. I'm pretty proud. I don't know about anyone else, but I'm pretty happy about that. So last episode was a whole lot of story. I think I saw a Pokeball, actually. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. We don't skip Pokeballs here. No, no, no. We need that. Awakening. Okay, so we don't really need that. I was lying, but still, you know, I had to check what it was. So last episode was story time with Giovanni, who uh, talked for a very, very long time about Professor Oak's involvement in the Mewtwo project and about how he was then going to go after Mr. Fuji, but we were kind of in the way. And we are now heading to Pallet Town, Professor Oak's lab, so that we can rough him up a bit, you know? Have a nice little little stern talk with him and all that good stuff. So, for now, we are waddling back on through Diglett Cave, heading to Pewter City, and then heading back through Viridian Forest. Now, I'm hoping in Viridian Forest, that there are going to be some really strong trainers for Viridian Forest in there. And that means that they won't just have generic Caterpie Metapod Weedle, right? I'm hoping that they actually have, maybe, this is this is something that I would like, but I don't know how, how lucky we're going to get. I'm thinking maybe they could have a Heracross, right? And if they have a Heracross, do I really need Bun? Do I really need Flutter? Not really. It'd be a great replacement for both of them, and then I'd have an extra slot for maybe a water type that I steal. That's that's sort of where my mind went. I don't have any proof of this. I don't have anything, to be honest, that would give me any indicator that they are going to be stronger than just a B-drop. But I'd like it if they were. That'd be great. Why do I always think there's an item up here? I kind of want to try and find it. Either way. Uh, can I go down here at all? Hey there, good fellow. Nice weather we're having, ain't it? Now, I got this hunch, see? I think you came here because you're looking for a certain HM that lights up caves, hmm? No, actually, I kind of want to cut. Um, <laughs> how did I know? Well, let's just call it a businessman's intuition. I don't want it. Anyhow, my dear friend, I I good good news for you? <laughs> Do you mean you have good news for me, or you just you good good news for me? Um, let's hear this good good news. What with my ingenuity and entrepreneurial drive. Right, no need for space talking. Damageless moves any longer. Space taking, not space talking. I was thinking like alien language. I thought he was just completely insane after good good. So yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> With our own, oh, the flashlight. Oh. Oh, that's not bad. 1K, we have to be kind of careful with money. 
I don't know. 1k is doable. 1k is doable. You know what? Sure. Sure. We'll take it. It doesn't take up anything for us in terms of Pokemon move slots. I'd say flashlight. Sure. We'll take it. I'd like cut more, but you know. Gah. Why are you barging into my house, Rocket? I won't have it. Is this acceptable behavior where you're coming from? Yeah, kinda, to be honest, you know. Looking for Pokemon Abra. Wanna trade one by Mr. Mime? No, I already have a Mr. Mime, actually. Can you believe that we've filled up a full box worth of Pokemon already? Like, we have stolen a full box worth of Pokemon. That's crazy. Oh my, is there a tree in your path? Rest assured, it is no cause for dismay. Help is near. Wait, is it that? Verily, tis I, Leto, cutting... <sighs> I've never seen that word before. What language is that from? Or is that just a really, really bad spelling of cutting official? Aficionado? Is that what that's meant to say? That's a word that I've not seen. At your service. Would you like to bear witness to these cutting wonders of mine? Are you just gonna, like, <laughs> run into a head first? Please tell me you run into a head first. I will annihilate for you all trees around Pewter and Peridium, so they can hamper this Pokemon adventure of yours no more. For a modest fee of 1,000, naturally. That's all my money. What's our other option? Going through Mount Moon? I'm too lazy for that, just take my money. Take my money and get... Ah, sir, I dare say you made an excellent choice. Now, if you'll allow me. Oh my lord, what a cut! Nyon brings a tear to my eye, dear trainer, every time. Well, should you ever need my cutting skills again? By this region's most beautiful trees is where you'll find me. Until we meet again. He probably plants the trees, doesn't he? I bet he plants those trees. I bet he plants those trees and then gets trainers to come along. And cut him down. I think that's what he does. So, also, out of slight curiosity, what's that bounty at? My, my, what have we here? A rocket bandit in the flesh. I'm to give you these 20 full restores if you keep your record clean long enough, so stay sharp. Color says it? Well, let me see here. My goodness, you're one of the most infamous criminals in Kanto. Thank you. 66k. Okay, that's what it is. Alright, alright. Sure, sure. Yeah, no, I'm keeping my bounty and no one will stop me. So, what I was kind of coming down here for was, can I enter the gym? Like, can I get gym badges? Hi, do you want to dream big? Do you dare to dream of... Hey, what's that you're wearing? Can I see your trainer card, please? Hmm? No? That's just as I thought. The nerve. This gym is not for bums and petty thugs, you hear? Get out. And don't come back until it's with an official training license. Ah, so that's how they do it. I wasn't sure if we could just run in and challenge a gym and grab badges and become powerful. But yeah, that, okay, okay. I kind of just want to like run around, but we do have an objective. <laughs> I'm kind of just running around like an idiot. You know what I'm doing? Yeah, you're making weed. You're growing weed. Spraying repel. No, you're not. No, you're not. No one in this game is a good person. No, 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 no. I refuse to believe it. Well, let's go ahead and take a look at Viridian Forest, I suppose, and see what exactly we need to be thinking of in here in terms of Pokemon. Hopefully we see ourselves a Heracross, but honestly, it's more likely that we just see Beedrill and Butterfree, if they're not just straight up cat bees. Beedrill. Okay. Level 27, I will replace Flutter with a Beedrill. For sure. For sure, I will do that. I did get rid of Peck, and this would be a time when Peck would actually be decent. But Needle, well, that's gonna do a whole whopping nothing, so that's kinda good. I'm happy with that. Go for it. Home attack should be able to finish, and I will yoink your Beedrill right from underneath you. That didn't finish, that's a shame. This one will work. Give me the Beedrill. Give me the B. Give me the B. I need the B. Mm -hmm. Bugcatcher Sammy. I give, you're good at this. I am. Then give me the give me the B. Yeah, 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 I desire the B. Mine now. It's mine now. I don't think I have a nickname on the side for Beedrill. Beedrill starts with B! Beedrill starts with B. Beedrill starts with B. I think it's time to complete the trilogy. Bonk is here. Bonk is here. Powerful. Honestly, an inspirational name. You know? It really just... It really makes you think, doesn't it? 
Like, wow. Bonk. Powerful. Anyway, <laughs> level 20 Catapies is really something strange to see. I'm not used to this kind of Viridian Forest. It's weirding me out a little bit. But, I do want to make sure that I steal from everyone I can. I have left a whole lot of trailers that I guess I could go back to and steal from now. Even on places like Route 11. There's places by... by Cerulean. There's a lot of places I could go back to now and I could steal from extra trainers. So I might have to do that. I might do some off-screen. I don't want to show every single battle in this game. Because at the end of the day, these battles aren't... Super intense. We'll put it that way. <laughs> we uh, we kind of just stomp everything with a cipher at the end of the day. But we might have like a big old episode at the end of this playthrough where I go through just every single Pokemon that I've stolen and the atrocious nicknames they have. That could be kind of fun. It'll be awful and it will hurt your eyes. Your eyes will be bleeding at the end of it. Just looking at all of the horrible, horrible names that I've given them. But honestly, I'll find a German out of it. So you know, it's got to be done, really, doesn't it? It's got to be done. I've convinced myself that it's now something to do. Whether I remember or not is an entirely different story, but I've convinced myself that it'd be funny. So a Venonat, huh? And a Butterfree. Well, we already have Butterfrees, so I guess we're just going to go ahead and take the Venonat, huh? We might have a Venonat already. Trying to keep up with what Pokemon I have and don't have, genuinely difficult. I think Venonat was one of the first Pokemon I took, and I think I caught a Reject. But actually, yeah. Because I checked my Pokemon box before starting recording. Ha! So I think I have all of these. So I guess I'll just take an extra Venom out so I can have a Venom off. Maybe? I don't know. I am going to call it... Honestly, have have a decent name. Be called Venus. You know? That's a, that's a decent name. Listen, as far as my names go, it's actually probably top tier. But, you know, it's, it's decent to the eyes of the world, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, okay. Who else can I steal from? Come on, I know there's more trainers in here. You're not gonna tell me it's just those two. Wild Beedrills at level 20 in Viridian Forest. Kinda scary. Right? Kinda scary. Then again, I'm wandering around with a Nido King in this place, so I guess I'm also kinda scary. I might be little, but I won't like it if you go easy on me. Oh, I won't. I will not go easy on you. I am here to put your Pokemon into the floor and take them from you in front of your eyes. That is my aim. Maybe not the Paris, though. I don't really want the Paris. Can you keep the Paris? You know, actually, if you just have two Paris, that maybe I don't want them. Maybe I don't, but I want to rack up my bounty, so I have to, you know? I just, I just have to. I can't help it. Effect Spore puts us to sleep. I picked up an Awakening before we went into Diglett Tunnel. Just saying. Coincidence? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. But still, helpful. <laughs> Either way, Ponyta should be able to take this thing out. Between Paris and Venonat, I'm probably just going to take the Paris, because at the end of the day, we have two Venonats. I don't need an army of Venonats. Or do I? Or do I? Now that I think about it, maybe, maybe. Oh, boo, nothing went right. I would love to be getting more than 100 from these trainers. Maybe I can steal a Meowth at some point, and I can get it with Payday, and that can be a good way to make money. We might have to. We might have to do something like that. Paris. I'm not even pretending. This isn't even a name, alright? This is just... There we go. Cool. Alright. To be fair, Paris is not the one that's gross. It is Paris Sect. I've said this many times. I do not like Paris Sect. I don't like what happens in that evolution where the Paris essentially dies and gets taken over by a zombie mushroom. You know, it's just... It's just not... Not a, a friendly Pokemon to have on your team. You know, this is kind of terrifying. It's just a wild zombie mushroom that's looking to murder and absorb nutrients. Its only goal as nutrients to feed its parasitic life form. It's just this. It's if I forgot to uh, go ahead and awakening my Nido King, so that's awkward. But it's okay because basically all of our team is good against bug types, which wasn't exactly planned, but works out, I guess. Don't poison me. Good. Good. And then Aerialize should just completely bop this Beedrill. I'll take all the Beedrills. I'll have an army of Beedrills. That will be completely fine with. Please let me have an army of Beedrills. Paris. No, 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 no. I want an army of Beedrills. That way I can send bees at people and watch them scream, not the bees. You know, that's my entire aim in life, to be honest. Just to send bees at random people. It's a good aim. It's a good aim in life, actually. That sounds fun. It's messed up. Definitely messed up, but it would be funny. 
Well, I'm definitely taking a B here. So the, you know, between the B I caught from the first trainer and the B I caught from this one, I get to like have a comparison and see which one's better. You know, I'll probably take the higher level one regardless, but I can see which one's better. I would like Beedrill 2, please. Is that your final answer? Yes, it's my final answer. Lock in Beedrill number 2. Uh, we will call you... Oh no, nothing is coming to my mind, not even something stupid. Why? Why, brain? Why? Okay, it's called Kevlar. That's the first word that came to my mind. Don't ask how my brain works, it doesn't. <laughs> you know? It just doesn't. It doesn't work. <laughs> Someone said to help. My brain isn't functioning. Oh, these names. Oh, someone, just a name. Just give me names in the comments, please. <laughs> oh, Paris. I don't want the Paris. I forgot to use an awakening again. I got so caught up in that stupid name. It's a curse. It's a curse, not, not a blessing. It's definitely a curse. It's not good. It's not good for anyone. Leech life. No. Why am I not speeding these battles up? To be fair, I don't know. I should have been speeding these battles up. Because, you know, they're not... They're not very intense battles. I'm kind of just clicking the same thing over and over again. I'll take an extra Burfrey, you know? We're just gonna take every Pokemon. Every Pokemon I can take from someone and make them more miserable, that's the plan, because we're evil. That's the plan. You're being called. Fluter. Yeah, it's not Flutter, it's Fluter. It's Flutter's slightly less intelligent twin. <laughs> uh, Alright, Awakening. 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 I will not forget again. Don't you worry. It's not gonna happen. I remember the Awakening. We have two Awakenings. I don't know when we got the other one, but okay. Sure. Ribcage wakes up. I'm sorry. I let you nap as long as I possibly could. But for right now, I need you to wake. We have more trainers to find. Is there another trainer in this place? There should be another item. There's definitely another item. I don't know if there is another trainer. But I would like there to be. I want to steal more. I want to rack that bounty up. I don't know if there's like a cap. I don't know if something happens at a certain point that you go, Hey, you're way too dangerous to be kept alive. And then all the policemen still shut, shut you down and actually battle you. Maybe. Definitely possible. We will have to see. We will have to see. For now though, Route 2, we are here. Which means we are getting real close to Pallet Town. There is no tree here. There's no trees here. Why is there no trees here? An effort, paralyzed heal, okay, sure. Does that mean I can just waddle around? Run for your life, I have it. Uh, I mean, I'm one of Professor Oak's aides, of course. Why? <laughs> Why do you think a move like Flash was ever invented? Ways to slot in your Pokemon's available moves, probably. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh! Oh! When I used his service, did he cut down all available trees? Oh! So I didn't even need to go through Viridian Forest. I mean, I would have done anyway, because I was hoping there'd be a Heracross, which there wasn't, by the way. Um, but he cut down all available trees nearby. Oh, even the one down there on the left! Okay. Silver? Oh, great. More of Dad's Goonies incoming? Tell me. Why does he do it? Why does he do it? What do you want to do his dirty work? Why? Is he too much of a coward to do things himself? He did get beaten up by a random, you know, ten-year-old kid called Red who broke into his entire facility and got all the way to him. So, yeah, probably. Why couldn't he just come along? Huh. Hi, Ariana. I was right. It is, it is, it is silver they were talking about. I mean, I, I assumed, right? It makes sense, but... It was never any use, was it? Welcome to Viridian City, Carlos. Thank you. I appreciate the welcome. Um, you seem like you've got something going on. You might want to, like, deal with that or something. I don't know. You know, just, just an idea. Don't mind me. I can get to you. Must have dozed off in the sun and had this weird dream about a drowsy eating my dream. 
And I learned how to eat dreams. That sounds like a real power you got there, Darkrai in disguise. Ooh, this is too spooky. Let me teach you a Pokemon so I can forget about it. Nope, it's all yours. That's it. Oh, he's already asleep again. Never mind. Well, that was... That was short-lived. Oh, hi. Hey, do you know what sucks about being a real badass criminal? All these Pokemon that just flat refuse to sell me balls and potions. And don't get me started on not getting my evolutionary stones. Oh, I didn't think about that. I got Growlithe. I got Poliwhirl too. You know what I'm saying? We're getting together a pack of the most notorious rockets we got, and we'll do something about it. Hmm. Palos? Yeah, you're not quite bad enough, I'm thinking. Get yourself a bounty of at least 120,000 and come see me again. Ah, that's kind of the thing I was thinking of when I said, you know, eventually we'll get to a certain bounty point. What am I at? A lucky egg? Ooh, I don't care. I wanna... My goodness. No, no, this is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. 81. Okay, 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 okay. Alright, we have, we have some more stuff to do. We've got to get to 120. We have an aim. We must become the most... <laughs> The worst, essentially. <laughs> not, not the most anything, just the worst. We have to become the worst. Uh, no traders on this route. You should give me a potion. Ahem, hello there, Rocket. I work at Pokemon, ready and see. I'll have you know, our employees are specially trained to deter robberies. So don't even think about going there and snatching something you didn't pay for. It won't work. No, sir. Well, that's not the information I wanted to hear today, but okay. Wild Pidgeotto, level 18. I would love to imagine just red and blue trying to get out of this area with their level 5 Charmander as well. They just repeatedly lose. Why are you here? Greetings, young one. I've come out here to spread the word about our Lord and Savior, Lord Helix? Oh, Arceus. Well, that's not the same. Peace be upon him. Do I lend you my healing powers as I read his divine wisdom? I know. Well, joining a cult is pretty evil. Yeah, sure. Ah, the spirit of a true believer. All of my Pokemon now have Pokeros. That'd be kind of fun. Blessed are the damaged Pokemon. They will send reckless trainers to the center of healing. That's true. They don't have Pokeros. I just have Pokeros on the mind because we got Pokeros and Kaiser Emerald, so it's obviously, you know, something I'm thinking of now. But, uh, yeah, okay. Well, we have arrived! Professor Oak, what are you doing? You're not here. What, in Arceus' name? A rocket? In our innocent lab? Can I get the Bulbasaur? What? No, goodness, no. Professor Oak's not in. And I doubt very much he'd want anything to do with you if he were. What do you... Gimme. Oh, now. Stop right there, rocket. I may be a mere research aide, but I know better than to let you put your dirty fingers on the Professor's rarest Pokemon. Get off, or I'll put all the aids on you. Go for it. I want it. I want the ball. I accept the ace. <laughs> Give me the Pokeball. There's an email message here. Finally, the ultimate trains of the Pokemon League are ready to take on all comers. Bring your best Pokemon and see how you rate as a trainer. Pokemon League HQ, Indigo Plateau. Professor Oak, please visit us. Well, I'm not going there, so, you know. Any of you gonna tell me where he is? Oh my, why, no. I'm afraid Professor Oak's not here. He has pressing research matters to attend to elsewhere in the region. Please don't hurt me. You. Now I'll say, you've got some nerve coming here, Rocket. Professor Oak's an honest man and a respected academic. He has no business with folks like you. Hmm, hmm. So, he's in his home. Oh. <laughs> Agatha? Hi. Oh my, now isn't this a surprise? In all my visits to Pal over the years, I never thought I'd see a fellow like yourself in a peaceful place like this. You're here for Oak, aren't you? Hmm? Oh no, I have no intention of stopping you. We have much more in common than you'd probably think, Rocket. Oh? An ally in these troubling times. Say, it's not often we see a new face around these parts. Come in for a cup of tea if you're not too busy. Pal is such a wasteland for interesting tea conversation. Sure. Oh, hi, Daisy. Um, <laughs> are, you, are you also evil, Daisy? I mean, your brother is. Well, well. Your tea is excellent as always, Daisy. And the weather is so lovely. Oh, I do miss Palette sometimes. Daisy here is my granddaughter, Carlos. Makes sense, makes sense. 
In fact, with her brother away on some Pokemon quest, a part of the only semblance of family she has left. Well, me and Professor Oak, when he bothers to show his face. A long time ago, we were a tight-knit couple, Oak and I. Samuel was a man of honor. Ooh, first name basis. Back in those days, he valued strength, vigilance, and purpose, and he embodied it. He raised his son together, in the image of those principles. He turned out a great man, and blessed us with two grandchildren to carry our values forward. But no sooner than Blue, their youngest had been born. The war struck our family. Daisy and Blue both survived unscathed, but our son and his wife both perished in the madness. Samuel and I, we swore that we would avenge them. We would bring down Lance and make him pay for taking away our innocent children. Haha, <laughs> would you believe it? He swore to me. He gave his word, Carlos. And then, why, just a little while later, he committed the most heinous, cowardly, shameful act I ever saw. He was champion, general of the army, the most powerful man in Kanto, and he gave it up. All just to save his worthless skin. The soft, spineless fool that surrendered to Lance is not the man that I loved. Even if he didn't stand a chance, even if sticking it out, fight for something he believed in, would have ultimately meant his death. At least it would have been an honorable one. Understandable. Grandma, please. No, she's right. I'm sorry, Daisy. I'm going there again. You know how I can get sometimes. I'd better get going, darling. Always work to be done. Do take care of yourself and send regards to your brother. Such lovely kids. You'd go on the warpath for me, right, kids? <laughs> I can't say I approve of what you and your boss are doing around Kanto, Carlos. I can't say I don't sympathize with your frustration. Not quite respect, but understanding. Until we meet again. That's fair. That's fair. That's... That's mildly evil. I'll accept it. You know, I don't think Grandpa is really a bad person. See, you're not seeming evil right now, Daisy. I, I want to see some evil from you. He's really very cheery and friendly, the way they show him in the papers. He gave me and Blue a happy childhood. I'm grateful. No. But, ah, uh, you know, it's just this one thing that always bothered me. Jeez, there you are, Carlos. What's the holdup, dude? Why, I've been looking all over for you. Sorry to interrupt the friendly tea party and all, but yo, we got a Pokemon professor to interrogate. Let's go and hand it to that old man oak. You got me tired waiting. Why you gotta be like this? Oh no, is it true? You disgusting thug. Grandma's wrong to trust a rocket for company. I knew I should have never allowed it. Ronnie, why are you always gonna ruin things? Gee, Carlos, you sure fixed yourself a feisty date, huh? Yeah, I did, now you ruined it. <laughs> well, no time for that now. We gotta help this lab pronto. In all my days, you're not going anywhere. I won't let any low-life thugs trespass on our home and family. Ronnie, why you always gotta be here and ruin things for me, huh? Come on, you were fun at first, now you're just in the way. Chancy. Double 30, okay, all right. Well, I can double kick, I, I guess. It's not the strongest move of all time, but Chansey has no defense. Yep, that's gonna be enough. Okay, goodbye Chansey, give me the XP. Give me the XP. I just wanna see the big XP number. It's been so long. I've played too many games where I don't get the XP. Yeah, 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 that's what I like to see. Full 1,600? Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes me feel better. Ponyta. I mean, honestly, I'd probably just stay in a Poison Tail, to be honest. Still, she has some reasonably high levels. Like, there have been some level jumps in this game. I'm not a huge fan of level jumps. They've been small. Alright, it's not like they've suddenly done anything like, I think it's Pokemon Dark Rising that has crazy level jumps. I don't know, it's been a long time since I played it, but... That has some, like, 20 level level jumps, I swear. It's absolutely nuts, or at least it did when I played it. But, five levels here and there, sure. I guess I could accept it. It's just not my favorite thing in the world to see big level jumps. I prefer going up a level at a time, almost. Uh, need arena. can use Cypher. We haven't used Cypher yet today. Cypher needs to see the live day at least once, right? You know, it's gotta, it's gotta keep up its reputation as our number one Pokemon. Wing attack should do decently. Helping hand in a single battle. 
I see why Daisy didn't go along the path of becoming a Pokemon trainer, you know? I do understand. Oh. Raichu! Okay, okay. And that wing attack. Respectable damage. It's nothing crazy, but... I'm just gonna go back into Ribcage expecting a lucky type move. I don't know if we're actually gonna be able to do anything, because it's probably gonna outspeed me, but still. Tail Clip. I overestimated Daisy for a second there. Tail Whip again! You sure are whipping that tail back and forth. You know? I'm impressed. Wow. Such dexterity. Gone. <laughs> yep. You, uh... Kinda got what you deserved there, for sure. And then we just go back into Cypher. Am I gonna be able to steal from her? I am! I am. I can steal from teenagers, which she fits into, and women, which she fits into. So there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to steal from her. So, okay. We attack this decently, we get poison pointed, which is whatever at the end of the day, I'm not too concerned about that. And we should hit level 28 from this, which will be pretty nice. Oh? I have a potion? Why? What? Why? Don't. Don't have a potion. I wish I had a move stronger than Wing Attack right now, but then it'd also be out of Technician range. This is really the strongest thing you can hit this Wing with. Is this, like, Eviolite? It seems to be taking these hits really well. Like, I have Technician boosted. That's... That should be a lot of damage coming off. Like, a Cypher has a good attack stat. Might be Eviolite, I don't know. Just, just an idea, but... Either way, not too difficult of a fight. That was just fine. What of those Pokemon would I like? Well, I already have a Ponyta. I already have a Nidorina. Do I want Raichu, or do I want Chansey? Raichu would probably be way better, right? But Chansey is rare. Raichu is also rare. And I can't get Evolution Stones. I'm taking the Raichu. Sure. Sure. Oh no. The hardest part. <laughs> Nicknames. Oh no. Let's see. Let's see. What was that fake evolution of it? Gorachu? We're calling it Gorachu. I still would love if this was actually a Pokemon in the game when Raichu could evolve again. That'd be so good. Phew. Well done, Carlos. Quite the energy in this one, eh? Leave it to me now. Stand back. What are you doing? Radicate. Hyperfang, go! Wait, what are you doing? Wait, what are you doing? What are you- What? What? Ronnie, what are you doing? This isn't part of the mission at all! What? No! No! That's not okay! Well, good riddance. Pokemon that strong and an unassuming girl like that? She's got some rich family or other. I'll bet my kidney. Radicate, see if you can't find any valuables around here to loot. What are you doing? No! Can I take the rest of her Pokemon? She doesn't need them anymore, but you know. Huh? What's the matter, Carlos? Why, you look like you ain't ever seen a rocket in action. That wasn't the mission. Uh, I mean, I respect the evil, but, uh, haha, you little sissy you. I bet a good interrogation should wake you right up again, eh? What now? You check the lab and the old guy's not even here? Well, gee, you talk about a big fat waste if I ever saw one. Well, it's a good thing we got in a bit of action just now, then. It's not a good day without at least one robbery, am I right? <sighs> I guess we might as well head back to the HQ. Uh. Uh. You'll pay for this. Uh. Um, find anything Radicate? No? Pretty useless, to be honest, you know? Can't even find any valuables, you know? It's... It sucks. So, I'm assuming... Can I heal her? Wait. Hi. Huh? Why, yes, this is Red's house. I'm his mother. But why? Oh, what do you want to know about him? I mean, he's a quiet boy. He was always so interested in Pokemon battle and not much else, to tell you the truth. He never had many friends at all, except for Blue, who lives next door, but... I don't know how good friends those two really were. 
Wait, who are you to be so curious about my son? I... I don't like this very much at all. Please leave us alone. That's fair, that's fair. I... you know, that makes sense. I'm just gonna play on his... his... On his NES? Old school gamer, I respect it. Could it be? Samus was a woman all along. <laughs> okay. Can I? There are no items. Okay, yeah, that makes... Makes sense. You know, I'm just a, a random bum. Man. Yeah, okay. Alright, yep, yeah, sure. Uh, well, I would like to get healed again, so hey, Arceus Woman. I would like the healing powers. Yes, please. Yes, please. And we'll heal up. We'll check the lab once more. Actually, you know what? No, this is this is a fine place to round up. It's been a little bit longer than I thought, because I really do get engrossed in this game quite badly. Well, the Daisy thing definitely didn't go as I expected. Um, I was thinking we might be able to even get Daisy as, like, an, an ally for a second there, and then Ronnie came and ruined everything which I get the feeling is going to be a strong theme of this game. So we'll see how that continues. If you guys have enjoyed this episode anyway, wait, wait, wait. Question of the day. I did not forget. It's just really, really late. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Question of the day before I forget. I am sorry that this is so late, but can you write in the comments your IRL Pokemon team? For me, this is a very, very difficult you know, position to be in, because I'm trying to round off the episode and I have to think of an entire team. But I wouldn't want any crazy big Pokemon. I would want the Pokemon that more seem like pets. And I would definitely have an Espeon. I would def definitely have a Luxio. Those two would absolutely be on my team, for sure. For sure. Um, I am going to actually fly back real quick while I think of this. You know, as we, we have one more thing to do. We need to go back to the Rocket HQ, which is in Celadon City. So... Luxio, Espeon, for sure. Maybe an Arcanine, you know, big old papa. I'm going with kind of dogs and cats at this point, but you know, they would probably be the three that would definitely be on my team. And I probably wouldn't want a massive team, because then you have to think about all the Pokemon food that you have to buy for them. So honestly, those three would definitely be on my team. And maybe one big powerhouse, like, let's assume that I can get myself a Marshadow. Right, let's assume that that's something that I can just waltz around and grab. Marshadow would probably be on my team, and maybe like a Metagross, and I'd have like those five or something with a spare slot in my party for something that I'd want to catch at any point, but when my tastes change. Something along that line. Um, so again, sorry for the late question of the day, definitely should have done that sooner. But either way, if you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and I'll vote for Bye!